Okay, for number four on page 187. Now you really need to memorize the unit circle. Uh, there are tricks to it you can find online, um, uh, but you need to memorize it uh, so that you have it under your belt for the diploma. So if P of theta is the point at the intersection of the terminal arm of angle theta and the unit circle, determine the exact coordinates of each of the following. Okay, for A, P of pi. So the rotation of pi radians takes the terminal arm of the angle on the x-axis to the left of the origin. So if we take a look, um, P of pi is equal to negative 1 and 0. So it's to the left of the origin. Okay, P of negative pi over 6. Okay, so rotation of negative pi over 6 takes the terminal arm of the angle into quadrant 4. As shown, um, we covered it. It's in your textbook as well. Your unit circle needs to be memorized, which will give you root 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. P of 3 quarters over 4. So the radians takes terminal arm of the angle into the second quadrant as shown. So p of 3 pi over 4 equals negative root 2 over 2, positive root 2 over 2. h, p of 5 pi over 2. Okay, so for p of 5 pi over 2, Okay, so if we're going 5 pi, 2 pi over 2, it'll be one complete rotation. So one complete rotation plus pi over 2. So that's 1 and 1 quarter, right? So p of 5 pi over 2 is equal to 0, 1, which is right here. OK. P of 5 pi over 6, radians takes the terminal arm of the angle into quadrant 2, as shown. So if we take a look, um, we have um, negative root 3 over 2 and 1 half as being the equivalent at the point of 5 pi over 6 radians. 